Many of you are living in the era of Facebook. But when there is nothing beautiful in war, if Nigeria sparkles and breaks violently, the first thing that we go is your social media. So you have to sit and think again, where are we going? We are the nation. And that is not, since the leaders or our misleaders have decided not to address something that is telling us in the face daily. And you, you're saying it's like the, the present government is not listening. No, they are not, they, not they, listening. No, they are not deaf. They are already deafened. That is, they don't use, they don't use carbide, blast their ear. They don't hear anything. Okay. Now only Jesus Christ or Muhammad or all the will go bless their hearts. May they open. May they see what you come Okay, so you're talking about restructuring Nigeria. Let, let me explain something quickly. We believe that there is a spiritual thing that has come out of the Nigerian project. There's a Nigerianness, a Nigerian whether it's gra gra and ownership of space. But this is being demeaned because the federal system is failing all those at the local levels, at all levels. And the reason that is happening is simply because the things that made Namde Azikiwe, that made Ogbemudia, that made Aolowo, yeah. that made these people develop their states and create things that work, do no longer exist. And what was that? It was just a revenue allocation formula. Nigerians don't even know what the revenue allocation formula was when the state was regional, when the nation was, when regional governments were there. Today you tell me from Edo or me from Delta yes. that you are giving me a 13% derivation. The government of Nigeria is doing revenue allocation. How are you allocating what you don't generate? Meanwhile, in every federal system in the world, those, if it is in America, the, the economy of California cannot be the same with the economy of Nevada. Cannot be the same with the economy of a desert state like Texas, like Tennessee. That is how it's supposed to be. In those days in Nigeria, what takes place is very simple. The Nigerian government at the regional level keeps 50% of the revenue. The federal government is given, uh, given 20% of the revenue, while 30% is kept in the federation account. That is what happens in America. That is what happens in Canada. That is what even happens, ironically, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain or Northern Ireland. That is not even a federation. Because you are not, there are certain things that must be done by the Irish government in Northern Ireland. There are certain things that must be done by the Scottish and then even by the Welsh Assembly. And it does not affect those who are in England. But in, there are things that are federal that must be taken care of by 10 down the street. Defense, foreign affairs. Many people in, the, in England, in London, have never seen the Scottish pound. But when you go to Glasgow or Edinburgh, sure. you, will get a, you will get paid in the Scottish pound, which is permanently tied to the, to the, to the British pound. Because, and that is inside Britain. So the Nigerian government killed via their military coups. The military boys dismantled the Nigerian Federation. So we've been limping ever since. Why is I don't have a problem with the IPOB? It's very simple. They are fighting for what they feel is the rights of their people, they want a referendum carried out, or they want a, uni a unilateral declaration of the state of the sovereign state of Biafra. We don't have a problem with that. What we say is, where your rights begin, where my rights begin, is where your rights stop. Don't impose your right on my right. And if there is going to be, because life is about alliance building, you cannot sit down. I repeat, uh, uh, in in Umaya, yes, and draw maps that affect persons in my locality. Okay.